certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, there goes the powerhouse storm right over my shoulder uh, shoulder here that had wind gusts up to 73 miles an hour northwest of Chicago early this morning, but it's still producing at least some light rain in mainly our northeastern counties, and there could be some patchy drizzle down here from Lafayette over towards Morocco. So still a little pesky light drizzle, a little light rain hanging on for a little while longer in the viewing area before this exits. And in parts of Illinois, the skies are already clearing out. And as the winds calm tonight, yeah, that's a freeze warning for central Illinois. And the frost advisory is about as close as I-57. But I do think some of our western counties may see a little patchy frost very late tonight as the winds really start to calm down around here. Speaking of the wind, we get a peak gust of 44 miles an hour at Fowler early this morning, 37 here at the station, as well as at Attica, and a gust to 37 at Peru and 40 at Rochester. And there's all the rainfall, two to three inches, pretty much a far eastern Fulton County, all the way to southern Tippecanoe County, 1.44 Fowler and 92 hundredths at Remington. It is still overcast. It's still pretty blustery out there, but the winds will gradually start to subside with temperatures running generally, generally right now in the lower to middle 40s. For the evening hours, we're going to drop to 41 degrees by 11 o'clock. Already some breaks in the clouds in our western counties at that point and any patchy light rain or drizzle coming to an end. Notice the wind going down. In fact, by 11 winds west at 10 to 15 rather than 25 to 40 miles per hour. So partial clearing, diminishing winds tonight. That'll allow a little patchy frost to form in our western half by early tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow night, pretty widespread frost likely, even a light freeze, followed by a really nice week. In fact, you know, we've got some 70s back in the forecast by early next week. Tonight, though, the clearing line moving southwest to northeast. So 37 to Rochester, 34 Fowler to Lafayette, even freezing literally at Pence and 35 Monticello. And there could even be a little patchy frost. It's pretty much Lafayette to Brookston to about Rensselaer and then all the way down to Crawfordsville and points west. Some frost patches early on tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny, a little breezy with highs low to mid 50s. Pretty good looking day. 54 Monticello, 54 Lafayette, and 56 Petersburg. And there's that colder night tomorrow night. 30 in Logansport, 30 Burlington, 31 in Lafayette, and 32 at Pence. The first widespread frost and likely the first light freeze of the season. The 61 Saturday for the Purdue game, 65 nice on Sunday, and then we're back up to 72 on Tuesday. Windy with showers and storms before it cools off in a big way, Gene. In fact, we could get kind of a mix of some light rain and wet snow showers wow. as we head for later on next week. And we're going to struggle to get to 43. Wow. Okay, so yeah. enjoy the weekend. That's right. All right, Ted, thank yep. you. Well, up next, the aftermath of the release.